Hey Leo, Mariah here. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing really well. So you know I'm gonna absolutely leave this open and whatever needs to come out will come out. So let's get into it. Let's see what is it that you need to know, be aware of. What is it that is, what's going on? It could be whatever. Just let me know here for Leo. What is it that Leo needs to know at this time, as, especially as we move from December into January. So let's take a look and let's see. Ooh. Five of Cups in the reverse. Let's see what else. Two of Swords in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. And the Death. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It's just saying what doesn't kill you make you stronger. And it feels like I'm dealing with a Leo that may have went through things that should have killed you. And I don't mean necessarily in a literal sense. I hope not. Um, but it feels like you've went through things that for other people or most people that it would have just put them in in this in this space of feeling really low or not being able to get back up like they wouldn't have the perseverance or the drive to keep pushing forward it's like you've dealt with things that other people couldn't even imagine or fathom that you've gone through it's like if you were to tell your life story to people they would be like oh my god i can't believe you went through that because what you've been through doesn't match your personality what you what you've been through you don't look like so when people meet you or when you come across people you know they already have this preconceived notion of who you are that is so far from the truth of who you truly are and what you've really been through. So I think people tend to pit like a, a tight cast. That's what I'm looking for. People tend to tight cast you or pigeonhole you and think that you're a certain way. And I think this allows people to underestimate you. I think this allows people to put you in the, in the position of being the underdog because people people don't know what you've been through. They don't know your strength. They don't know your resilience. They don't know your capabilities. They don't know that even when you get dirt thrown on you, you still rise tenfold. So it feels like if it feels like I'm dealing with a Leo specifically that even prior you may have been made to feel like you were inferior or you weren't good enough or you weren't valued enough. You may have been made to feel psychologically that you're questioning your own self or having your insecurities come up to, to bat because people, um, again, not necessarily validating you, but they just don't see what you know about you. They don't they don't see that strength. They don't see that ability to survive and persevere. I think, Leo, if I'm going to say this in a short, short way, I think you've been counted out too many times in your life. I think you I think you've been overlooked one too many times in your life, whether it comes to relationships and you feel like. Um, you're not valued or you're counted out or people don't take you seriously, whether it comes to jobs and opportunities where you feel like you get passed up on or you're being let go of and people are not seeing the value you bring or even with family, not really being there or having the loyalty or the trustworthiness that they should have had with you because they, they counted you out in the sense of, oh, it's Leo, Leo will be there. And that's because your personality of what you show on the surface into others is so different from that strength that you have on the inside. So it's like, it's almost a saying of um, taking someone's kindness for weakness, right? Taking someone's kindness for granted. It's like, don't get it twisted. Just because I am a kind person, I am a kind hearted, uh, nurturing person. I am sweet. I love those. I'm loyal to those who are loyal to me type of vibe. Don't mean that I don't have the ability to be a little ruthless and cut you off or remove myself when I don't feel appreciated or I don't feel validated. So, um, or I feel like I'm being underestimated. So you're getting, you're proving Knight of Swords in the reverse. Why does it feel like you're proving uh, people wrong here? To not count you out, the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Three of Swords. Why is this uh, Three of Swords here, the Fool? Seven of Cups. Why does it feel like somebody doesn't believe in you? There's and maybe and mind you, I'm not saying you need people to believe in you. I'm not saying you need people to rally behind you, but it just feels like in your energy there's there's a person 
or maybe even people, but specifically a person that just does not believe in you. So if I was to give you an example, this is like somebody feeling like once you leave the relationship with them, you're not going to get better than them. Or if you leave that job, you're not going to get a better job. Or um, if you let these family members go, then one day you're going to need them. And it's like they don't understand that you will survive and be OK without them, that you will move on without them. And yes, in the moment, may it hurt, may it not feel good, may it may it be a bit painful. Sure. You know, we're still human. But at the end of the day, your your own will to put yourself in persistence to put yourself around those people places and situations that really hold true value to you is more important than staying around people that just devalues you or underestimates you you know you don't want to be around people where you feel like you have to prove yourself that you are desirable or that you are worthy of that job or that and, and it's like you already show that I shouldn't have to go above and beyond and grab the moon stars and Jupiter just to prove to you that I am worthy no you know you are worthy and I think if I'm just if I'm just connecting the dots here with you, Leo, um, I think Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, remember, King of Wands, Ten of Wands. So this is what we got out for you: the Nine of Wands in reverse, Knight of Knight of Cups, King of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Um, I think this is somebody that you're dealing with that sees in you what you see in you because that king of wands is, is similar to your energy unless this is you but this is somebody who understands you i think this is somebody that has gone through the same situation or the same circumstances this could be a new friend that's coming in for you this could be somebody who is a new lover that you're dealing with but they've been through certain life experiences just like you have and having to carry the weight of feeling undervalued or underestimated or underappreciated and i think because of that and you have that relatability which creates that trust and that vulnerability between two people you feel like this is somebody who gets you somebody who is on your side somebody that has that same fire and that same get up and go within them internally just like like you do despite the dirt that's thrown on them so it looks like Leo you're coming into contact with somebody that really relates to you we got the eight of swords seven of cups hang one and the ten of pentacles somebody does not see what is going on who is around you? <laughs> Who is around you, Leo? You got somebody in your vicinity that they can't even see what? It's like it's not even plausible for them to, to see or acknowledge or recognize what you're getting ready to come into. You know what I mean? It's, it's like if I was to give you an example, um, let's say you get out of a relationship and it's like, oh, well, I'm the best that Leo's going to get that Leo is not gonna be able to elevate higher than me. But little did you know the 10 of Pentacles, it's like, I can not only get better than you, but I can get double the person that you were. And you, it's like you're, people only can put you in a box and see you reaching so far and you're proving, and it's not like you're doing it with the intention to literally prove somebody wrong, but by your action and you getting what you want, it's just going to prove people wrong anyway without you having to do anything. That, you know what, this didn't work out with you, it's all right, that's fine. And then boom, you end up meeting somebody that you're able to have a healthy or beautiful relationship with or have, meet somebody that you're able to get married to. Or a job lets you go, or they feel like, you know what, this is as good as Leo's able to get in this company or in this position. And you end up leaving that and going into something that's making you way more money or starting that business that you feel way more fulfilled in and that you're way more passionate about when somebody only counted you out and put you in a certain in a certain peg. Again, that's why I say your personality is... All right, I'm sorry about that, Leo. My battery died. <laughs> My battery died, I guess. I don't know if Spirit don't want me to get this message out or what. But um, yeah, it's like being counted out. And that's why I say your personality... Uh, just how you come off people just peg you for a certain way and yet they don't know how capable you are so I think what's important for you to understand Leo especially as we go into 2024 the people or specifically like I said a person that has counted you out or pegs you in a certain box that feels like you're not going to be able to get better or achieve more or do more or just looked at you as you know the underdog or underestimated you now you're moving into getting what it is that you want. It's like, okay, you want to, you feel this way about me? That's fine. And 
you're using that as motivation again not with the intention to prove them wrong but you're going to show you to yourself you know what I can get that better relationship or I can get that better job or I can start making more money. And that's what is going to shock somebody because they didn't expect this of you. They didn't know how strong you were. And again, that's because you don't look like what you've been through. People don't know how capable you are, Leo. They don't, they don't know. They're playing on your name. They're not taking you seriously. And it's like no more of dealing with that or you know what? I don't want to deal with anybody that I can't see how capable I am. And you're going towards what it is that you do desire. So, Leah, I hope this does make sense. I hope this resonates in some kind of way. I'm going to let you go because my battery is looking like it's still wanting to die out. So, I love you. Take care. And bye.